Do you understand? Mark Gordon created software for open source information to be shared. Now, can people abuse that and put copyrighted information on the web? Yes. But at the same time, why should he be the one who has to regulate that when it's open source software? It's not even going to a website. It's LimeWire, folks. So he never actually committed copyright infringement. He didn't upload any files. He didn't share any files that would be copyright infringement. But now it's becoming more broad so they can go after the users, so they can go after people who will invent open source software that we can share information on. New York-based LimeWire claims to be the world's most popular peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program. Program, and if the major labels succeed in obtaining an injunction to disable the service, millions of users will see their uh, spigot or free song suddenly shut off. But the uh, spigot of free sp song suddenly shut off. But folks, there are torrents out there. There are offshoots of LimeWire. There are direct download websites. Hopefully they will never be able to shut them all down because when they can shut down and regulate information, Jason Burmas, the Info Warrior, and InfoWars.com probably won't exist anymore if they get their cybersecurity czar in there, if they get their cyber Nazi bullying act passed. We are in big trouble, and this is another step towards that. But the labels won't be able to prevent users from quickly moving to other networks and software providers. See, they admit there are other networks. They admit there are other software providers. But see, they want to gun after the people that can create these programs, that can create the file sharing, because they don't want open source info. We're going to come back. The number is 888-201-2244. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas only at PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com. Me.